In my last video, I listed the five things I hated about my Jeep Gladiator. So in this video, I thought it'd only be fair to explain the reasons why I love my Gladiator and don't regret the purchase of it at all. And what better place to do it than here. What really made me pull the trigger and decide to purchase my Gladiator was the fact that it's a truck and has a five foot bed. When I started getting into off-roading, I was looking at Jeeps and was like, well, I really would like something that can do more, not only to use it off camping and having adventures, but actually have it having a purpose that's practical and useful to me in my everyday life. Something that can get me out onto the trail, but I can also use if I need to run some errands, if I need to go to Home Depot, if I need to help somebody move, hopefully no one asked me, <laughs> but I had the ability to at least load a little bit of something. And it's not a huge bed. This isn't a full-size truck. And like I said in my other video, I'm not looking for a full-size truck. I'm just looking for something that can handle my typical needs and still get out there and have some fun. And the Gladiator has met that 100%. I really like how well the Gladiator's performed off-road and how capable it's been. When I was doing my research and reading about it, I was talking about, oh, with the long wheelbase and, and the departure angle and different things like that. And all those are valid concerns depending on what your personal needs are. So the trails I do in Colorado, it hasn't really been that much of an issue at all. It gets me to where I need to go. And of course there are a few trails I just won't be able to do. Like for example, I'd be interested in doing Holy Cross uh, Jeep Badger on a trail, but based on what I'm looking at, uh, I did not build my Jeep to be able to handle that. And that's just a sacrifice I have to make, trading off the functionality of the truck bed with not being able to hit every single trail in the state. And that hasn't been a problem because even though there's a handful that I can't do without some serious modification, there is a ton that I can do and it has been great. It's been able to take me to see some really cool places in Colorado that have been off limits to me for years. One of the reasons I love my Gladiator is the fact that it's convertible and in a lot of different forms. You can take off the freedom panels, which I do and I love. You can remove the top altogether. You can remove the doors. You could fold down the windshield. I don't know why anybody would want to fold down the windshield, but you can if you want to. Personally, having the doors off was not my style, so I'd always keep mine on. Taking off the roof though, was pretty nice. I had the issue of, well, where am I gonna store it? Am I gonna get one of those lifts to have it go up to the top of the garage and then it stays up there to put it back on? It's just not something I could do regularly. Uh, taking off the freedom panels, I really do like, but that also has its own issues. Where do you put the freedom panels uh, when you're not using them? If you have stuff in the bed, you know, there's no room for them there. So that's why I decided to go ahead and do the Best Top Sunrider, and I love that purchase. The pricey one, it's totally worth it. Uh, you could be riding on the trails, you're ready for some sun, fold it back, you're getting that sun, it starts to rain, you know, close it back up. Personally, I love to customize my vehicles and I was really drawn to Jeeps for that reason. The Gladiator and the JL share so many similar features. Most of all the aftermarket parts and things you like to do to customize your vehicle were instantly available. So I got the Gladiator put the tires on, put the lift on, started putting my own personal touches to it almost immediately. And there are just so many options. I love the fact there's not gonna be a vehicle just like mine out there and anybody can make their Jeep anything they want it. If you want a rock crawl, you can make it a rock crawling beast. If you're an overlander, you can make it so you just go out in the middle of nowhere and live off the grid for weeks at a time. You know, you, you can travel down these roads forever and ever and your Jeep will do it for you. So I really love that. And you can name your Jeep. You can do any kind of customization you want, whether it's just cosmetic or whether it has a particular purpose. You know, the sky's the limit. One of the bonuses that I didn't realize when I decided to get outdoors and to go off-roading is the community. And of course, Jeep has its own specific community, but it's all part of the overall off-roading community and people say jokes about you know about a, a jeep or jokes about um, a toyota or jokes about this vehicle or that but ultimately we're all here doing the same thing and i found everybody to be equally as friendly it's really great to kind of get out there and explore 
and have some time to yourself. But it's also great to small talk with people, talk about their vehicles, talk about places they went. And everyone has been really friendly, no matter what they drive. So I love that kind of stuff. You know, you see another Jeep, you know, you wave, you have some small talk in the parking lot of the grocery store about your Jeeps and what people like or what their first Jeep was. And I'm still learning about all of that. So I just really like that. You know, some people are into ducking, some people aren't. You know, people, the fact that people go out of their way to kind of make a connection with other people, I think is awesome. And I was not aware that I was be part of this community when I got the Jeep, but it's been really great. And the number one reason I love my Gladiator is because it's just fun. <laughs> Check out the five things I hate about my Gladiator video. Click the end screen now.